My name is Christopher Landavazzo and I'm a deputy sheriff. I've been asked by No More Download TV to give our community a few tips on how they can keep themselves safe when out and about with their friends in the community. Designate a driver to take you to and from your place that you're going out to. This ensures that there's somebody who's sober and is able to kind of keep an eye out for the group and get you home in relative safety. Take a cab to and from the place that you're going to. This also ensures that you get to and from the place that you're going in relative safety. If you're at home, make sure that you turn the lights on before you leave your house. This ensures that your pathway to and from your door is well lit and will help you identify any threats that may possibly be lurking in your neighborhood. If you're walking down the street and you see a group that may be threatening or pose some type of threat, simply turn and walk in the opposite direction or change the side of the street that you're walking on. I would also recommend that you do not confront groups that may pose a threat to you or your friends while walking on the street. Use well-lit areas walking to and from places in the community. Oftentimes, taking routes that are either poorly lit or areas that you're not familiar with is a bad idea, and I strongly suggest against that. It's also often a good idea to have something that will make noise in cases that you need to summon help. I know if you went out to Pride this year, they gave you the Pride Whistle, which is a great way to call attention to yourself in times of emergency when you need help. Use the buddy system. Oftentimes when you're going to and from clubs at late at night, it's a good idea to travel in groups. That way you're not targeted or by yourself in situations that could possibly be risky. We all like to go out and have a good time, but go out and do it responsibly. Try to limit your intake of alcohol and ensure that when you do leave the bar that you are not in such a state that you're unable to care for yourself or care for others. In a situation that looks like it may be confrontational, it is strongly suggested that you go to a place where there are a group of people. Uh, oftentimes this means going to a public place or simply back to the club that you came from. Typically these clubs have security staff and by alerting them they will be able to summon help if needed. It is also strongly suggested that you know your location at all given times. This simply can be done by looking at street signs, etc. That way, if you do need to call 911, you know exactly where you're at and can summon aids rapidly. If you do believe that you have been a victim of a hate crime, it is strongly suggested that you contact your local police department or sheriff's department and report the victimization right away. If you do happen to witness an incident that appears that it may be a hate crime, it is strongly suggested that number one, you summons help, but number two, be a good witness. Oftentimes, law enforcement's ability to apprehend these type of criminals is dependent upon good descriptions and also good eyewitness accounts of what happened at the location. If you are a witness to an incident that is occurring in front of you and it looks like there might be a confrontation, it is strongly suggested that you do not get involved. It is better for you to summon aid or to call the police rather than involve yourself in a situation that may be dangerous and potentially life-threatening. This is Deputy Chris Landavazzo for No More Download TV saying be safe.